Time to simplify more trig expressions. So let's get started. Secant of x is just going to be 1 over cos of x, of course, minus cos of x all over 1 plus cos of x. OK, in order to combine these guys, I'm going to need a common denominator. And so far, I just have cos x over 1. So to get a common denominator, I'm actually going to have to multiply this by cos x over cos x. So I'm going to get, here I still have 1 over cos x, right there, minus cos squared x, because of cos of x times cos of x, over cos of x, all over 1 plus cos x. Now I can combine the fractions, and it will become 1 minus cos squared x, all over cos x, over 1 plus cos x. I can view this as over 1 though, and whenever we are dividing two fractions, you can actually multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction. So this will become 1 over 1 plus cos x. Great. Now, this right here, 1 minus cos squared x, can simplify into 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x. And we're multiplying by 1, so all over cos x times 1 plus cos x. And how could I do that? How did I transform this into that? That's a simple difference of squares. It works just like x squared minus y squared, for example, which simplifies into x plus y times x minus y. Hopefully you guys remember that from lower grades. Then, right now, we can actually cancel out these guys, and we're going to end up with 1 minus cos x all over cos x. Voila, that's it. 